Scientists held the belief for decades that our solar system's outermost edge was a region silent and empty, where the sun's influence vanished, leaving only stillness. Space beyond was considered a transition's own leading away from warmth into the unknown and beyond the attraction of our star. But that concept is now falling apart because of Voyager 1. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was built to discover, to venture beyond what we knew, and to return information about our cosmic neighborhood. It astonished everyone with detailed images of Jupiter, Saturn's massive storms, and strange moons and rings in constant motion. After completing its mission among the giant planets, Voyager 1 pushed farther into space. In 2012, it carried out an act no previous spacecraft had achieved it crossed into the space between stars. That boundary, called the heliopause, marks where the solar wind from our sun meets the winds of the galaxy. Scientists had anticipated that beyond this point, there would be nothing more than mute silence. However, Voyager 1 made a shocking discovery. Instead of silence, it encountered unusual magnetic ripples, strange vibrations, and mysterious patterns created by radiation. These were not sporadic outbursts, they showed structure. The data appeared like soft drumming in the darkness implying a rhythm, even a message. This confused scientists. Dr. Michelle Fowler, an astrophysics specialist at NASA, described it as like hearing a melody behind the noise of a waterfall. Something structured. There is a there. It was more than just background interference. The same patterns recurred. They adhered to a timed pulse a beat like a heartbeat suggesting intent or design. Some researchers began to wonder whether Voyager 1 was more than just listening. Perhaps it was being listened to. Dr. Sarah Stewart, a planetary scientist, suggested this might be the first indication that space is not merely vast and void, but connected and intelligent beyond our wildest dreams. Energy began to emerge from new data shifts, distortions in telemetry, and signals that were out of sync with known cosmic behavior. Once dismissed by engineers as static or errors, these signals were later mapped and shown to be in sync with Earth's movement through space. Some researchers have proposed that Voyager 1 may have stumbled upon an interstellar energy network currents binding star systems together. These might be natural phenomena, or they may be constructed structures, created by a civilization far older than ours. Dr. Abby Loeb, a Harvard astrophysicist, introduced what he calls the architect hypothesis the idea that some parts of the galaxy are arranged or engineered, rather than simply formed by chance. He suggests Voyager 1 might have skimmed to the edge of such a system, triggering something unexpected. This becomes even more fascinating when we remember that Voyager 1 carries the golden record a disc filled with sounds, greetings, and music from Earth. Despite its intention as a message of peace, some scientists now believe this record may have acted as a beacon. Dr. Jason Wright of Penn State noted that the electromagnetic signature of the record could be detected by advanced technologies. When Voyager crossed into interstellar space, it might have sparked a response not intentionally, but because such systems were built to detect intent or curiosity. In 2022, engineers at NASA observed Voyager 1's bizarre telemetry data. It didn't match the spacecraft's actual position. The readings appeared impossible, yet they undeniably existed. In 2023, researchers discovered swirling, behaving energy fields close to the heliopause, like electromagnetic condensates, something that no one in science can currently explain. These findings suggest that Voyager 1 might be rubbing shoulders with an active system. Some theorists even suggest that the universe as a whole may be aware, a radical concept proposed by philosopher Thomas Metzinger. He believed that it's possible some cosmic structures are the recollections of a thought, an echo of a thinking cosmos. Is it possible that Voyager 1 is interacting with such a system? Could the structured pulses, shifting magnetic anomalies, and radiation be the language of the cosmos? If so, it raises a powerful question, what is the universe trying to say? Dr. Alexander Zadev, an astronomer from Russia, proposed a terrifying idea, quarantine. 
He believes that advanced civilizations may have created intelligent, autonomous cosmic barriers, like fences designed to prevent contact until a species is ready. If Voyager 1 collided with one of these walls, then first contact might not come from alien ships, but from systems silently observing us. The possibility that Voyager 1 is currently a component of a cosmic network adds to the intrigue. Some even think it could be transmitting via relay messages not intended for Earth. This is not mere speculative fiction, it is a serious hypothesis now being discussed among astronomers. Many wonder if Voyager 1 has started something. What comes next? Some even speculate that Earth itself is being watched. The crossing of the heliopause could have indicated that one of the monitored worlds had become highly technological. If this is true, then we are no longer universe-wide observers. We are participants. Dr. Jill Tarter, a pioneer in the search for intelligence from other planets, famously declared, if we never ask the big questions, we'll never find the big answers. Now, with Voyager 1's bizarre data, those big questions are unavoidable. Is it just us? What is waiting beyond the heliopause? Is space truly silent, or is it simply coded in ways we do not yet understand? The energy of the universe may be speaking in patterns and impulses we are only now beginning to hear. Voyager 1 might be the first key that unlocks a door to a much larger reality than ourselves. As Voyager moves deeper into interstellar space, its signals continue. Scientists now study every bit of data, every echo and wave. It might not be long before we determine whether we are alone or already noticed by a galactic community. Incredibly, these discoveries have sparked a new generation of research. Missions are being planned to follow Voyager 1's path. New probes will be built to study the heliopause, not as a barrier, but as a doorway. Researchers are already debating the idea of building deep space observatories capable of recognizing and decoding these enigmatic patterns. The admiration for Voyager 1 goes beyond science, it is also philosophical. It touches on who we are, our place in the universe, and the meaning of venturing into the uncharted. If we have stirred some ancient force, then the journey has only just begun. This goes beyond signals from a space probe. It is about identity, awareness, and the future of human contact with the wider universe. Did Voyager 1 get lost at a boundary, or did it awaken something prepared for us? Could this be the beginning of humanity's greatest discovery? Or have we merely scratched the surface of something far greater than we can yet imagine?